What can you do in 80 seconds? In that amount of time, you could go outside to start your car in the morning, send a few texts to friends, or even take a short break to scroll through your social media. Unfortunately, it also only takes that long for a woman to lose her life to heart disease. Do the math and it adds up to the loss of 45 women in this country every hour. Women who are someone's daughter, someone's friend, and maybe even a mother or a sister. Chrissy Meyer is the Region Senior Marketing Communications Director for the American Heart Association and Tiffany Muchler is the Sioux Falls Go Red for Women Co-Chair. Despite those dark statistics, they're here to give us all hope that the numbers of women being taken by heart disease and stroke can be reduced with the support and information they're here to share. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you. So Tiffany, let's start by talking about Go Red for Women and your involvement and why you are passionate about this. Yeah, so um, I actually have a really, really um, long history of heart health in my family. Um, my grandparents have had heart problems. Both of my paternal and maternal grandparents have had open heart surgery. Um, my dad has had open heart surgery um, and my grandma is affected by a stroke. So um, it's been very near and dear to me for a long time. Sure, sure. Yeah. And when you hear the staggering statistics about particularly women, what does that kind of make you think about yeah, I mean, it, it definitely is terrifying to me. There's so many women that I'm obviously close with um, and just the statistics around it, it, anybody, it could happen to anybody when you least expect it. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this Go Red for Women movement. Yeah, so the movement is great. Um, it's about raising awareness and just really educating people on women's heart health um, and how we can work together as a community and as, a, a, as women to to be better about our health, um, to raise awareness about the different warning signs of a heart attack or a stroke. And so, yeah, Go Red is really just trying to focus on creating awareness and raising money to um, further the education on that. And it is different for women. And part of the awareness is really understanding what signs and symptoms look like. And with a lot of health conditions, you have time but you don't have time with a heart attack mm -hmm. or, a heart or cardiac arrest. Yeah, once it, gets to, once it gets to that point, yeah, time is muscle, mm -hmm. as we say. So, but that's where Go Red for Women, and that's what Tiffany is talking about, is you know raising the awareness of understanding that you can control your outcome. You know, there's so many things that we can do in our lifestyle to reduce our risk. Um, and it starts with just scheduling an appointment with your healthcare provider. Get your blood pressure checked, get your cholesterol checked, know your numbers. Um, make the time for yourself to understand your individual risk. Are the things to look for are red flags that, you know, if, if something is happening or somebody is having some kind of a heart attack? Well, the, the typical heart attack symptoms are, you know, that pressure or um, chest pain, the uncomfortableness. With women, the signs are also a little bit more subtle. It may be back, neck or jaw pain, mm. um, indigestion, fatigue. Um, but, you know, as we say, you know, what woman isn't, you know, waking up with heartburn, <laughs> tired, right. exhausted, you know, so the, the biggest thing is that if you feel like something's wrong, you know your body better than anybody, just go get it checked out. Let's talk about the difference that 20 years of Go Red for Women has made in, in women understanding their risks and, and really making a difference. Yeah, and that's what I think is most exciting. We are celebrating our 20th anniversary this mm -hmm. year of the Go Red movement. And when Go Red was launched in 2004, if you would have gone out here onto Phillips Avenue and, set, and asked you know, women, what's your number one health threat? Only one in five women would have known that it's heart disease and stroke. Mm -hmm. But over the course of 20 years, that number has increased to 50% of women. Now, we still have a long ways to go, and that's why we have to continue the work and we have to continue funding the research and funding the education. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow's Go Red for Women Day, Wear Red Day, right? Wear Red, red Day, wear national. Red. And that's, <laughs> yeah, it's a big part of the movement, so we're encouraging everyone, wear red tomorrow to raise awareness. Hey, great. We're gonna be I doing feel like, that. yes, I, I'm almost embarrassed by the fact that I don't know if I would know what to do if somebody was having an mm -hmm. episode, if somebody, you know, so um, that's, that, Am I alone? Are there a lot of people who feel like they don't know exactly what to do? Yeah, there's a lot of people. In fact, it, it's it's north of 70 percent of people who feel like they might not know what to do in right. a cardiac emergency. And that's why we thought, you know, yeah. let's let's talk about that today. Mm -hmm. So the number one thing to know is that if you are ever called on to give CPR, most likely it's going to be to someone you know and love. 70% of out of hospital cardiac arrests happen in homes. Okay. So it's gonna be your mother, your father, your sister, your brother. 
Um, and so just being prepared to act and know what to do. Mm -hmm. So the first thing, the very first step, is to call 911. Yeah. Okay. And everybody can do that, yeah. right? That's easy. <laughs> just call 911, get help on the way. Sure. The second part is to push hard and fast in the center of the chest. Okay. And what we're doing there is we're doing chest compressions and you're basically acting as the heart, pumping that oxygenated blood throughout the, bra throughout the body and especially to the brain. Okay. A lot of times people don't understand um, CPR is more for the brain than it is the heart. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to restart the heart. We're trying to keep that blood flowing so that someone can arrive with an AED or another medical device to start the heart. And we're gonna actually try this Yeah, now, we're gonna so actually try right. it. So we all have our dummies here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get down here on the floor <laughs> and um, you've got the breastbone right here, this little oval. So you're gonna put the hard part of your hand right there in the middle of that okay. and put your other hand on top. You're gonna keep your arms nice and straight and you're gonna use the power of your shoulders to push down. So let's all just push down really soft and wait and see if you hear that click. See, I, I, it's, I it's been so much harder than you think. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna push yes. really that was hard, opening for and me. we're just gonna push. <laughs> I, I, you're oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> that hard, huh? Yeah. yeah. And you're gonna do it about 100 to 120 beats a minute. Um, think about a song like Stayin' Alive mm -hmm. or okay. Baby Shark. Oh, or I think we did Call Me Maybe yeah. last year. <laughs> yeah, Call Me Maybe oh, is like another one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, but it, think about a song and that'll keep the rhythm going. Okay, but so it, yeah. is, it was like alarming that. to me the first time I tried it how hard you have to push and if people really, I mean, if they really want to experience it, doing something like a CPR class is really probably the way to oh, just really yeah. understand like I how like hard to lock it is. my yeah. fingers yep. too. Oh. So. Well, and that, yeah, and that can help. Um, I like to keep mine flat, but everybody has their preferred, you know, whatever's I, comfortable. Yeah. yeah. But the I big almost, thing is you're using your shoulders, the power mm -hmm. of your shoulders. I feel like I, I would worry about hurting them. Right. You're going to hurt them, but yeah. that's okay. But they'd rather be alive. Gonna, yep. <laughs> that's the key, right? Yeah. Yes. But let's talk about the barriers that people often think about when they are when they choose not to perform yeah. CPR and that's well, really important mm -hmm. and number one is what you're saying I don't want to hurt the person mm -hmm. well every cardiac arrest survivor I've ever known has said I would have much rather had a couple broken ribs sure. mm -hmm. than not be here today mm -hmm. so number one don't be afraid okay. number two you know when it comes to the AED we do have to you know expose the chest and have you know bare skin and so that's kind of a barrier so sometimes people are afraid they're gonna be accused of inappropriate touching or something like that. But again, if you are providing assistance to someone who is in a cardiac arrest, there are good Samaritan laws that can protect you mm -hmm. from those kinds of things. You gave us a staggering statistic, I think, over the break about women not receiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's a huge um, disparity between women and men receiving bystander CPR, and the number one reason why is that people are afraid of being accused of inappropriateness. Um, and what we're doing here also, just to mention, is a um, is hands-only CPR, which right. people may not all know is you, just very helpful. Yeah, you you're don't absolutely, have to do the mouth You part. don't have to do the breath. So what we are doing right now is, yes, hands-only CPR. Okay. Now, if you choose to get certified, you'll learn how to do the breaths. Okay. Um, but this is what you can do in a bystander emergency. To save a life. Yep. Got it. Go Perfect. from being a bystander to being a lifesaver. Thank well, you. Well, thank you so that much. Yeah. We'll be wearing red <laughs> tomorrow, too. Yes, 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 thank you, yes. The American Heart Association of South Dakota is working to make sure all South Dakotans live longer, healthier lives. You can find out more about available resources and CPR training in your area by calling them toll-free at 1-800-AHA-USA-1. Or visit them online at heart.org. Remember, healthy people make up healthy communities, and that's good for all of South Dakota. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by the American Heart Association for 100 years. Their mission has been to be a relentless force for a world of longer, healthier lives. As the American Heart Association moves into its second century of their work, they are advancing health and hope for everyone, everywhere.